Hello everybody, how are you doing? It has been a long time since I've been out in the shop. Uh, I have been traveling for my company, uh, so I haven't been around much. And I'm back, and this morning I came out in the shop. We had some things to do today, uh, but I came out this morning for about an hour, you know, before we left, and I found a way to make uniform triangular shapes. It just, it all of a sudden hit me, and it's actually so simple. Um, but I've been making triangles. I've got six maple triangles made, and I've got six uh, walnut uh, squares that are getting ready to be turned into triangles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue them up and make one of those pinwheel blanks. And uh, if it works, then I know how to do it. I'll turn around and do a video for you guys the next chance I get. So I'm just going to goof around today. I have no real set plan. Um, you know, I hate that I'm not putting videos out. But I just, you know, I haven't really had anything to do a video on yet. So maybe this will give me uh, the impetus to get up and do one. So I'm going to keep you guys posted. We'll take a look at uh, what it looks like when I get it all glued up here shortly and uh, see how it turns out. Here's a quick peek at the blank. I haven't applied any glue yet. The pieces are all very uniform. I think it looks really good. The issue I have is look how much bigger than that colored pencil that is. Now, you wouldn't necessarily have to put a colored pencil in the middle. I could turn a dowel out of anything, say a piece of Paduke, which would go really well with the maple uh, and the, uh, the walnut. But my concern is this hole is just about the same size as a Sierra tube. And what that means is if I was to turn a Sierra out of this, the hole would take up almost the entire width of the tube, which means you wouldn't see a whole lot of the pinwheel effect on the sides of the blank. And that's really what I'm going for. So I need to work a little more with these sections. Um, I, I've, I've got a good way to do them. It's just I need to work a little more with them in an effort to get them a little bit tighter. Um, I think, I think what I may have to do is either go with a smaller triangle, uh, which is easy to do, or perhaps a little larger triangle and knock two of them uh, out of the pinwheel. Try to get it down to 10, um, 10 segments instead of 12. I don't know, I'm gonna keep experimenting, but I'm really happy with where I'm getting. This is actually kind of cool. Keep you guys posted. Well, I ran each of these pieces back through the sander and you can see the hole is quite a bit smaller. Got this uh, colored pencil here. And uh, there we go, it was a little bit of a tight fit. You can see there's a little bit of a gap around it. But if you take that same colored pencil and put it into a tube for a Sierra, look at the gap around that. So what that means is uh, when this tube runs down the middle, it's going to completely cover that center hole. And you're going to see a lot more of the blank, uh, the pinwheel effect on the sides. I may go and run this through the sander one more time in an effort to get that, uh, that hole in the center just as small as possible because uh, it, it's just gonna look so much better. But hey, we are getting there and I'm really happy with the progress I'm making. This is really gonna be, gonna be a cool blank and uh, I think I may have it figured out for you guys. Well, I've taken this blank down about as far as I wanna go and now I can't even get the colored pencil into it. So that's gonna be great because I'll end up turning a dowel for the center of that to fit, you know, I'll drill it to whatever diameter I want, just enough to clean it out, and I'll put a dowel right down the center. And this is gonna be great because uh, it's gonna show the maximum amount of pinwheel on either side. I could go a little smaller, but e each time I go smaller, uh, the, the diameter of my blank goes down. And uh, I just, we're gonna just go with this for now. We may come back later and try to make one tighter, but man, I really like that. So I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, get this band clamp off of it. And we're going to go ahead and get it glued up and uh, let this thing dry and see what we can do with it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with my progress. This is, this is turning out way better than I thought. I tell you guys, it's hot out here tonight. Or it's really not hot. It's, it's humid. But let me show you where I'm at. I, I, I've switched gears while I let the glue dry on that pinwheel, uh, pinwheel blank. And let me show you what I'm working on. I've been working on my pulley. You can see I've got both top and bottom pulley turned. I've mic'd them out as close as I can to the original pulley. You see that little dot right there? That's where I'm getting ready to drill. There is a uh, bronze uh, sleeve in this pulley. I need to drill through this plastic into the bronze sleeve, and then we need to tap it. That's what I'm working on. Guys, it never fails. <laughs> I was trying so hard to, to work on this uh, pulley, and I was trying to film the process of tapping 
this, uh, this bronze um, bushing inside of here. And let me show you what I did. Take a look at that chip. I had the tap run all the way down through there. You could see it poking through the bottom. So I believe I have threads into my bronze um, bushing. And I started to uh, tighten the wrench up because I'd noticed my, um, my tap wrench. This had gotten a little loose, so I went to tighten it up. When I did, like a genius, I turned it the opposite way and the tap came out of the tap holder, fell to the ground, and the tap broke, which is not a big deal, but it took a chip out of the pulley. And I'm not sure how bad that will hurt me. Um, I think what I'm gonna try to do is um, maybe file that down just a little bit to take some of that sharpness off there so it doesn't chew into the belt. It may be okay, we're gonna find out. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and test the, uh, the key, where did I put it? This little uh, set screw, and hope I don't drop that. I'm gonna go ahead and test the set screw and make sure that uh, that it will work with this uh, bronze bushing. Check this out, guys. She's running smooth. We got a little bit of noise, but I think that's because I'm missing a, a spacer back here. It should be one like that on the inside. Actually, I think what it is, is this is supposed to be four pulleys, and that fourth pulley rides against there, most likely. And this can move a little bit, and I think that's where that clickety-click noise is coming from. But it seems to be working really well driving the gears up front. A little bit of lubrication and a little bit of work to get that fourth gear taken care of back here. And uh, I think we'll be in great shape. Pretty excited about this. That's pretty much it for me tonight, guys. I do have another little issue that I need to figure out. I'll show it to you guys and maybe some of you can uh, kind of help me out with what you think might need to happen. I'll tell you what I think needs to happen and then you tell me uh, what your thoughts are. See that belt flop in there? And you kind of hear that, 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 that thumping noise? Put you around here where you can see that. Up in here, that belt is rubbing against the bottom of this armature. And it's flopping quite a bit. Now, it's supposed to have a little bit of looseness in it um, so that it can slip uh, if, if, if you jam you know, your tool into whatever you're turning too hard. You don't want it to mess your machine up. But I don't know why it's rubbing against the bottom of this. I don't know whether it's because We've already determined that these three pulleys should actually be a set like this. However, that's got a larger pulley on the outside, and in my mind, that's going to cause it to push the belt up and rub even harder. I'm thinking what I may need to do, and you guys tell me what your thoughts are, I'm thinking I may need to unbolt this armature and raise it up a little bit so that it's a little bit higher. That would mean a different belt here. Um, you know, but I could always uh, move that back to tighten this belt up. I, I, just, I don't exactly know, but I think that may need to be a tad bit higher than the lathe. Um, other than that, this section runs great. It's just, see under there how it rubs? And I just don't understand why. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Put, the, put them in the comments down below. I really would appreciate it. Talk to you later. We'll see what happens next time.